<clears throat> hey, see, smiling like this. I'm sure you already know I'm about to dish out some good news and everything like that. On, um, I'm sure most of you that clicked this video has actually like read about it, watch videos and everything. But if you guys know, I don't really use to jump on train if I have not gotten enough information. And because I know so many people who have asked a lot of questions, <laughs> I've I know some people will be asking a lot of questions. Can I do this? Can I be independent? Um, can I, can it lead to PL and all those questions? Like, you no know, coming out, replying questions one by one. It's better to just sit down, think of possible questions that everybody can ask, and you know, put it inside the video so that if, when everybody watch that way, I don't have to reply so many comments. So most times, every single time. Most of the comments I get, mm, thanks, your video was helpful and everything. So it's just few people, just few people that actually used to send me an email or leave a message, like if they get confused, and that would be something I'd not mention. Understand? So most times I just used to take my time. So the only time I've actually just jumped on trend was when the UK is suspending Nigeria. And that was because when I read it, I have enough information about that. And if you guys notice, if you watch the video, it's like 54 minutes video. I covered all the questions. I covered for work visa i covered for students like i covered possible even people that are paid for their visa and they don't know when it will come out you, you guys notice i covered for everything and i even talked to the extent of how it's going to affect work visa the ukraine and everything so that's the type of life the type of video the type of niche i am building like when i want to talk let me talk plenty talk it to one so that even when you have any question or any doubt about it i've actually answered it you got me Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your home girl, Ashley Demis. And of course, you know what you're watching. Japa with Ashley Demis of Ashley Demis Empire. So if you're new here, you know what to do. You can see I'm putting on friends. We are friends already. So make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that anytime I post a new video, you know the deal. So guys, if you notice, I changed my background. I used to be in that side. I don't get to shoot here. Mistakenly, my camera just flipped to the back. Oh my goodness, see what I've been missing. <laughs> I said to just try to side and everything. Somebody, there was one time somebody actually left a comment that I should reduce the way I play, a bit the way I joke in my videos and everything. Really, see if I actually have an issue with the way I talk, the way I'm jovial, the way I'm playful on my video. Shame. <laughs> See, any of these things to tell you, all this is information I'm giving you. I get it from their website, gov.uk or Canada Immigration, depending on the country. Just go to their website. I'm going to read their complex English. Do you know the artwork that me, I used to do to read this, their confusing, <laughs> confusing English on their website and then disintegrate it into Nigerian English, even go as far as relating it to life experience, relating it to Nigeria, just for you people to understand. And you're telling me I am smiling. Am I supposed to be finding my face? I am supposed to be, am I supposed to be closing my eyes? Even people, when they give person visa for embassy, say consular, be consulate, they cease to smile. They cease to flesh. So, hey, what one day, if you know that I'm too playful for your life, please carry yourself and go to their website. Oh, like we have a lot of videos for this video. Please don't don't stress my life. <laughs> this life is hard enough. Uh, Nigeria is stressful enough for somebody to just come. So I just say, hey guys, so today, but I'll just go straight to the bar. Mm -mm. You have to place more because I know that you clicking this video. You've tried so many times to immigrate, to disintegrate. No, this is the but I wanted to use rhymes to immigrate to this to everything, and then. Some of you are not even happy. Some of your agents have scammed me. So when you actually click my video, you now see somebody making you smile. Well, I you do kiniko kiniko. I don't know how to say. So guys, today we'll be talking about the new types of visa that the UK embassy is actually about to launch. You know that I've told you in my video before that after this COVID thing, it plays that thing. You know, you don't teach most of them. You don't teach them lesson like the importance of having immigrants in their country yeah if you guys notice after the covid lock so um after the covid lockdown it's been tv is it tv two tv or four years now so many countries have not even recovered so it like that i want to teach them lessons say ah 
let's be bringing people into our company i've been to our country so they don't know how to come and tell us directly that you people should become you know we want you so it's not be like a hey, hey, people wanted to apply you people doing shaka so all of them they are now using what we call to shaka they are just using scope using style they're just bringing up different kind of english different kind of visa you bring out one type of visa to date the requirements might be tough or this thing before you know they bring out and that one that will be easier please if you want to talk to us talk to us directly don't go to corners don't go to corners if you want us to come just say please you should just enter but they don't know how to say it <laughs> you get so they are just bringing out new info they are just bring putting different english for it yeah scared skilled visa scale up visa uh, this one they, they are bringing in ah English don't see something for these people and English even countries that I know that they are very strict with their immigration system before now everybody they don't open that COVID in <laughs> shake them where we shake them now they don't think for us anyways I will not say it was a good or bad listen in case you see I talk too much anyway that's just me telling you the reason why we actually have a lot of this oh this week street sorry they say I should be professional, but I play too much. Now let me be professional. Eh? He said somebody's channel. Let me be professional. Mm. So guys, um, today we're talking about um, the lot to be professional. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> after this thing, so guys, wait, let me debate more. Am I being? Am I being out to David? So Canada actually brought out a new COVID rule, right? Have you guys seen it? I made a video on that. Guys, I read this thing on their website. I was like, okay, this is what they mean. Oh no, no, you make me a motu funny review because sometimes I'll just do rough reading, first reading is like, oh no, look at motu funny second reading. That's how I come to tell you people something. I'm telling you, it's not about you understand English or not. This is their English. Imagine them telling you your COVID test have to be like 40, at least 14 days. In my own understanding at least 14 days means that it must not be less than 14 days only for me to know that it must be more than 14 days guys imagine that type of confusion so really that's why i used to tell you so anybody that have an issue with me smiling in my video go to their website go and read it so when you not get to the airport when you get to the border they cannot return you back for not understanding english that's why i used to tell you even me they at least 14 days please what me of at least 14 days at least 14 days means what 14 days okay wait oh it's true 14 days okay where do i be or is guys today we are talking about the new visa um ah we went to a safari but you people are been... so we're talking about the new visas that have actually come up um for uk immigration and everything so if you know the vaccine applies so many times for the healthcare work visa and caregiver health assistant and everything and then nothing is forthcoming this is actually another opportunity for you but somehow this one actually favor more of graduates yeah so if you know you don't complete up to ps and everything this might not be like your favorite tool. so the healthcare one might just be the, your best bet unless if you don't have up circuit level but you'll be actually you you have been working for your company before and everything anyways we are just gonna squash everything like <laughs> so after all this talk i've talk have you clicked the subscribe button have you hit the notification bell have you have you subscribed because i cannot be talking all this plenty talk with that guys i like this many background what do you guys think she like this did it what is it what is it the light is just shiny the light shine upon my life I'm just trying to ease you guys this thing because I know you've tried that healthcare visa, you've not gotten sponsorship yet. So I'm trying to ease people's this thing. You got me? Anyways, let's get started. So the first one on our list is of course general requirement is 14 years. Sorry, more than 18 years. So there are four types of new UK visa that is actually to your launch between March and April, right? So I'll be telling you the requirement the possible questions you might want to ask because i don't want to stress you to just write the only comment i want to be seeing in my comments is like oh that'd be nice video oh it was nice it took mm -hmm. because it's not easy for you to be attended to let me try cover everything so somehow that's the only question i want to see because it's not easy g5 channel so the first one on our list is i potential High potential individual visa. In the mess to break my word from the name Kinikilomin. I 
okay potential is still like this thing individual one person for the dating you already know what i'm trying to say Abby. high potential individual visa so this visa is actually for people that actually graduated from top universities whether in the uk whether in the us whether in the world whether in nigeria or whatever if you have somebody from African country or this, you might feel like, oh, I graduated from blah blah blah. Oh, it's not top or oh, Nigeria is not waiting. Um, as I'm saying, I'll be putting um a link on the screen or a name on the screen where you can actually go to go and check. Maybe possibly your school might be among the this thing. So let's continue. High potential individuals. So these ones that actually graduate from top university, anyone as long as your school, your university is one of those top universities worldwide not nationwide you worldwide so this one you don't need job you don't need sponsorship the only criteria that you need is you are a graduate of one of the top countries worldwide just imagine just for you to be a graduate of any of these top countries so if you know you graduated from a university like oxford and harvard but i said that <laughs> we all know how much that tuition fee is most of us, yeah, we know the range of school we graduated from. I know, I know, right? I know, right? That's why I was showing the link. So that was, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to limit anybody or anything because I know that if you graduated from Oxford, you will not be watching this video. You would have been in UK or this thing because you graduated from Oxford. You know how much money that is. You know what they watch this video. So I know us. I want to get me. That we went, so I know what's there. So that's how I'm putting this thing. So uh, I'll put in a link on the screen or a name on the screen. I have up to three, one, two, three, for you to check if your school is among. So another benefit from this visa is that it actually leads to your right to work and study. So most of this visa is just like five years visa, and after that one, you actually apply for settlement. But a downside to this visa is that you might not be able to bring a dependent because somehow this visa is similar to global talent visa so you might might most so you know that they've not actually um they've not actually given us full details about this visa thing so it's just the ones that they put on their website we are saying so you might not be able to bring a dependent because somehow it's actually similar to the global talent visa talent you know like the potential in it and everything but we don't know yet if it's possible or not so now as I was saying, so where you can actually check if your school will be eligible. Me telling you this thing does not mean that's the link they will use, but at least if you still see your school in any of this link, eh, at least you want to mark by the ah, well, you still have one leg forward. Mm -hmm. They can bring a different link, but most times they used to use all this world ranking. So the first one is QS World University Rankings. I'll type it on the screen. The second one is Times Higher Education World Rankings. I think the third one is round university rank. Round university ranks. So I think advise that first one, QS is quite popular or more authorized or anything. But shall check. But then if your university actually falls inside the TV of it, or more yummy. So you can, can just come and just say universities that falls between one to hundred, one to two hundred. Or more if they use one to hundred. No African person will qualify you, but if you're from you, Aisha, that's an opportunity for you. I want to all else. I don't know, I'm just thinking for you people. I'm just thinking, you know, there's all schools in Nigeria that we should, we are cash out our we should have our minds, but ah, I think you are the top school in, in Africa or something. So people will go here and they will have opportunity. Anyway, sure, input the name of your school and first check. So we don't know their criteria. They can say first one thousand. They can say first two hundred. They can say first two thousand. So if they say first two um, one thousand, uh, many of us can this. But if they say first hundred, if you know we are from Africa, just keep to the next one. So the second one on our list is global mobility visa. Yeah, and this one is for people that actually like have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's people that actually have like an athlete business in UK, or this one is more like an intra a way of transferring your staff from one country to another. For example, now I heard there are some Nigerian banks that is actually in UK. Now, maybe like Facebook, 
like this thing like i think this is first bank now so you can actually work in first bank i'm just using for example you can just talk to your boss uh, um but give me a phone now <laughs> who they help me so if first bank actually want to transfer you to actually work in their headquarter in uk hmm, you actually qualify for this type of visa but then you know that you would have attained some high level of specification qualifications this thing but it does not mean if you are close to your md like somebody like me i'm always close to people that just like somebody like me that i'm close to my agent and they say that in our estate don't to increase somebody as a young this might be your father the good thing she was only gave me this house with that girl that i promise i'm going to be a good girl you uh, know i'll be a good tenant i don't shall not be a father but give me this visa i will remember you so depending on how you are with your boss and everything, depending on how close with you are, you can just pardon me. More just this one, my great. So, can you actually bring um, a dependent or not? Of course, you can actually bring a dependent because you are going to work. You are going to work. You are going to work for a long period of time. So, who are you leaving your family member with? So, this one, this one is even sure. Well, again, well, they don't they prize them. Of course, you have to like you you it be you be eligible to actually bring your dependent. So, this one is work about this thing so but there is some limitation the thing is they have like two division if you earn more than do you want to go to uk so if you actually earn more than seventy three thousand nine hundred, and if you earn less than that like at least your salary must be up to forty two thousand four hundred pounds per year <laughs> and i'm sure that one is gonna be scarce it's gonna be scarce for two thousand four hundred pounds per year. So it has to be like a very, very top, mighty, magnifying business like that. So the next one on our list. So with this route, you can use it to like set up your business and everything. So the next one on our list is the scale up visa. This one is more like my favorite. So this scale up visa is somehow similar to the skilled work visa, but it has some differences and i'll be telling you guys all the differences so the thing about this scale up visa is actually for companies that they have ability or they have um what's that english it's actually for companies that are actually fast growing like fast growing companies and they have some requirement like they must have an annual growth of 20 percent increase and then they, they must have employed at least 10 employees before three years or whatever guys this one that i'm saying is big english because i have a website that you just type it there and the thing is there are about thirty-three thousand companies thirty-three thousand type of these companies in the uk so is it that when you want to look for a job you now start checking you see one job and you go and go and say hey what is from checking for anna rate and this thing but the requirement is they should have um 20 20 percent increase plus their normal annual rate and then at they must have employed at least 10 employees in the next three years so all these ones i told you i'm speaking english i've just told you what you have to check i'll give you a particular website on my screen now you just type it on your web browser and everything so just use the filter you already know the company you're applying to nothing like you check you put that in this channel i like easy life for you you put no rights i like easy life for you i'll never leave you though to be wandering up and down, wandering, you get to gummy. So, other things about this visa is it has to be a highly skilled job, not like any other job. So, now the difference between, mm -hmm, if I was going, then it has to be a highly skilled job. The other one is your minimum salary has to be 33,000 pounds. And then, of course, you have to do the language proficiency test. But if people know that, is the way we used to do it on this channel that language proficiency stands you know the right time here usually very from all those countries but then let them release all the details then i will not see how we can actually maneuver it because this one that they are saying is highly skilled job somehow i think it's like a point-based system like they will give you mark based on your english system but we can still use our work in it stay tuned on this youtube channel we will know the right titles for this channel Duh. so another requirement is you have to be a graduate and that's what i told you most of this visa is actually favors the graduate the most. So you have to be a graduate to actually um, apply for this work. So 
Now, what's the difference between the scale up visa and the skilled work visa? The skilled work visa, you actually need a certificate of sponsorship for that. You have to get a job that is like you have firstly you have to get a job that is in the skilled work skilled job visa, skilled work visa, yeah, skilled work visa, health or whatever, and everything. Whereas the scale up visa is general, the job can be anything, it can be health, it can be computer. It can be mechanic, it can be this thing, it can be that one is more like a general this thing. Why I for skilled work visa, it has to be in shortage occupation needs, like it has to be health, health related, computer related, all those short department of this thing. <laughs> Whereas for this scale up, any job you shall find. Then another requirement is for skilled work visa, right? For skilled work visa minimum requirement for a job that you have to get before you are qualified for your certificate of sponsorship should be more than twenty thousand pounds i used to tell you that in my video whereas for the scale of visa for you to be qualified for this route your any job you see it has to have a minimum of thirty three thousand pounds are you seeing the difference for skilled work visa your minimum requirement for salary annual salary is twenty thousand pounds upwards whereas for this scale of visa is like thirty three thousand pounds upwards so another difference between this um scale of visa and skilled worker is that skilled worker visa need you to look for a job number one and then you look for a job that will actually offer you certificate or sponsorship that, that, that's what most people are actually facing here that then they will tell you that right to work and autos english whereas the scale of visa it doesn't require any certificate or sponsorship the only thing that they are going to be doing is they have uh, they are going to be doing a fast track verification route this one is the one replacing the sponsor license i hope you understand so the sponsor license is more like a long journey you get just like in nigeria you actually want to apply for admission right and then once we're telling you and uh, you have to write jump you have to write post to tme you have to come for interview we have some schools like that whereas we have some schools you people know some schools in this nigeria that just your jump is enough they don't do post tme why we have some schools that they will do post tme they will do um jump post tme they will do interview after your first year they will still cut to you again that's not happening so that was just like a long journey so this scale of visa is just like a school that i say when you just have your time it's just fine so this um fast track verification route will actually replace the sponsor license so this one not concern you is actually the employer that it concerns but this one is faster so let's say the sponsor license actually used to take like TV months this one can take like two weeks or TV weeks depending on the season the person you apply depending on so many factors but it's like sharp sharp ochi nochi fast method and everything so no sponsor is actually applied so another difference between the um skilled work visa and the scale of visa is that the skilled work visa has limited jobs in it is more is more tailored to health jobs or somehow engineering jobs is more tailored whereas the scale of visa is very very wild you can find health computer um business anything any job shall any job any job any any any, any job as long as you satisfy the minimum requirement of three thousand pounds per year and then you actually get so another difference between the skilled work visa and the scale up visa is that for the skilled work visa minimum requirement you can actually apply for it even if you are no graduate even if you've not passed through school or anything you can actually apply for the school of skilled work visa of being an health carer support worker and everything you can actually apply whereas the scale up visa minimum requirement you have to be a graduate so guys, I hope with this few points of mine, I've been able to tell you the difference between skilled work visa and scale up visa. If you like this video, up to you, you know what to do. Up, oh, what's the back button? Click the subscribe button. Yeah. And another difference is keto magdo. Um, skilled work visa just deals with your personal statements, and that's it. Whereas this scale up visa actually deals more with points based because. To check um maybe a grade for graduate this thing or whatever just like the skilled work visa even if you are not you are not you don't have experience in that related job or you don't have physical just like i said there's no educational qualifications that you can apply 
anything goes for skilled work visa, but for this scale up, first of all, you have to be a graduate, the language test, and this thing. So, for the scale up visa, the minimum requirement is I told you you can apply for any sector, but it shall must be that the sector you are applying to it is liable to it means the um compulsory good requirements of 20 percent not like you just can apply to any job that does not have a future hmm? the job you are applying to over the new we it the essay everything that's to like all this fast booming so if you are more in the health this thing it computer you know we have, we have some jobs in the uk that are fast booming i have a video on that top jobs in uk that are fast booming so you can just apply in those areas and they are not specified you can do computer and apply for it mm -mm. you cannot do it because it's highly skilled mm -hmm. so another difference between skilled work visa and skilled work skilled up visa is that you can have your degree or whatever in one course and apply to another course whereas for this scale of eb toby bag benite that's where we are going through you cannot cut through corners so if you do it, graduate of biochemistry, whatever job you're looking for should be in biochemistry um, artists. And that's why they said highly skilled. Highly skilled. That means he actually tell out to him. But maybe, as he said, maybe sharp. I don't know if they will release this thing. So we'll know more about it. So another, 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 another. That's it. Okay. So now, can you actually bring your dependents? Can you apply for work permit? Sorry, settlement and everything. Yes, this type of visa, you can actually bring your dependents. You can bring your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your grandfather, your grandmother, your auntie, your everybody in your area. You can even just carry as well. Hello, God, yo. Hello, see you, care what anybody to bring, just bring them. Then, is it? Um, What's that English? Can you actually get um settlement after this? Or how long does the visa vary? The, va the visa actually value through five years, and in that five years, you can actually apply for your PR. And from your PR, you become a citizen. So, can you see all this? <laughs> that is <laughs> and everything. So, the next but the last but not least on our listing is innovator visa. So, this one is more like a business visa, it has to satisfy the requirement, which is the business has a potential to grow, stay innovative and beneficial. Like any any business you're doing, bring it to the UK. It doesn't have to be like a common business that everybody is doing. Even if it's going to be common, it should have something that is special. And again, that's to benefit the UK. I used to tell you in one of my videos too, when I was talking about how to get PR and everything, nobody would make you come to their country if you don't have any valuable thing that you're giving them. And that's why, in general, visa application student visa is the easiest because they know you are coming to their country to spend money especially all these expensive countries like uk and like, you see you see uk they will give you the visa even in their sleep no stress because they know you are coming to spend thirteen thousand pounds per year and you are going to work in 20 hours per year. so you actually contributed to their economic growth, growth you understand so that's why if you want to apply for visa or this and even your personal statement buy something that you are contributing to this company the country's economy again nothing like you're coming to do this thing there is no it's only nigeria that can house you even if you're not contributing to anything but outside the country you have to that is all about give and take you have to give something to take something there is nothing that is free so mm -hmm. so the innovator visa when you actually are it's just a way of you bringing your business from your own country to uk like if you have um like any business idea before they actually used to require for like fifty four thousand pounds before you are able to like before you are qualified for this visa so it's more like a revised visa it used to be in existence but even i say people know you them they don't do it you know so i tell you say these people after covid hmm, they think it won't boom boom so they're just looking for how to gain so after before before they say fifty four thousand pounds but you be like say they don't see people where they come so now they just say just have enough money so even if it's google and a you want to go and say inside uk and if you like okay well, five thousand pounds is enough you shall explain it in your um business plan and everything that like, telling google oh, Google, Google, 500 pounds is even more you can at the epa 200 pounds at the kidney 1000 pounds is enough for me uh -huh. that one is just like to have enough money that one that one, that one, that one just concerned you understand me so you can use that one to just 
of your business. So some of you that actually feel like doing business in Nigeria is stressful. It is time for you to carry yourself now and go. What do you think? Hey, at least you will make the atmosphere clear for you. Because sometimes when you be sleeping in the afternoon, I go home and go my own jet from different restaurants. You will never have a lot of people to sleep with. You specific distance. So now it's time for you to start up and go to UK. Go do your business. See, since you said Nigeria is too distant, Nigeria is what? Now go to UK. They have plans for you. See for things. Duh. So far, I hope with this few points of mine, mm -hmm, I have been able to mm -hmm, let you know that mm -hmm, there is a new visa in town and we are getting ready for it. So for now, when I'm making this video, there is no update yet. No, go back. Go back. It's fine like this. <laughs> so there's actually no update yet. Bosha, it's time. I will let you know. I'll keep you guys posted and everything. So for the this thing, how to actually check those jobs in UK. The one that follows the twenty percent was and everything. The level of the website is even say Corsica. Yes, I have typed it on the screen. I have typed it. I don't know where I wrote it. Okay, I've seen it. So the name of the website is actually scaleupinstitute.org.uk. So when you just go to that website, you can check for any of this job and everything. But as of when I'm making this video, the visa is not yet launched. So when they launch it, we'll come back here to come back, tell you guys how it goes and everything. You got me. So guys, if you like this video, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. Make sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribe button. Subscribe button. Subscribe. This is just for Daniel. And I see my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. The dance. So guys, if you like this video, you know what to do already. <laughs> I just like this my new post. I like this my new position and I see my next video. Thanks for watching. I'm looking for Tom